What's going on YouTube? It's Matthew and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this super cool door transition, which is actually used by Sam Polder himself. It's also been used by some of my other favorite creators, such as Gabriel Conti. As you can see, this is basically just opening the door to reveal some other clip. In this example, it's pretty sick and we're going to learn how to make that today. Now before the video starts, if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also leave a like on the video if you enjoy this. Also comment something down below telling me if this helped you or if it didn't help you and give me some new video ideas for future videos. So I'm just going to quit rambling on and I'm just going to hop into the editing program and let's do this effect. Okay, so today we're going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro. That's what I usually use when I edit. Sometimes I use After Effects, but not that much compared to Premiere. And we're just going to go the simple route because Premiere is a lot more simpler. So once you're in your Premiere timeline, you want to import your two clips and you're actually going to need two different clips for this. The first clip is going to be you opening a door. So before you even think about this transition, you need to record this clip. What I did was I just recorded a clip of me opening my door in my bedroom to reveal the hallway that leads into my bedroom. By the way, we're renovating. So if it looks a little weird, that's why. Next step after you do that is you're actually going to take a drone clip or any other clip that you want to reveal, basically. This is basically gonna be the clip that you want to see inside of the door. So for me, I'm using this drone clip. It looks pretty sick and I think it's gonna be pretty nice. So first I'm actually gonna put the clip of the door opening and then my other clip after that. First step is to actually cut to where the door opens at. Once you cut to where you can see the first opening of the door, we're actually going to hit V on our keyboard to bring back the selection tool. And now we're gonna go into effect controls and select the second part where the door is actually starting to open and we're gonna draw a mask around the door opening. How you do this is you're gonna hit the free draw bezier thing, free draw bezier thing. It's basically like that little pen icon that looks like this a little bit. And we're just gonna trace around and you might have to zoom in because this is gonna be pretty precise and you want it to obviously be as precise as possible. Once you do that, we're actually gonna invert the mask by checking this box over here. Now we're gonna enable the mask path, which will allow us to actually track it forward. Now we're just gonna track this mask forward a little bit and to do this, we're actually just gonna go forward some keyframes. On your keyboard, hit the arrow key to the right a little bit. Once you do this, you wanna keep adjusting that mask path around your door opening. Track this to the very end where you can no longer see the door opening and boom, you'll see it's just black, but we're about to fix that and it's gonna be really cool. Now you just want to drag your drone clip or whatever clip you're using underneath of the door clip where that opening starts. And bada bing bada boom, that's how you do it guys. Again, this tutorial is super easy and it doesn't require any work at all. I mean, maybe just a little, maybe just like a little bit, but it creates a really cool effect. And I promise you can really get creative with this effect. I mean, the possibilities are just endless, especially with masking, they are just endless. Like I used this clip in my New York video to do this. But yeah, that's basically all it is to it. If you try this effect out, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Matt Bitsky. I would really love to see some of your guys' submissions. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up for the video, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy the video. I will see y'all in the next video whenever that is. But yeah, I've been Matthew, and you guys have been awesome. I will see you guys in the next video, and peace. <laughs>